World first genetic research into Aboriginal Australians has found most of the country's Indigenous population was likely founded from a single colonising event more than 30,000 years ago. The findings show there was a distinct genetic split between the Papuans and Aboriginal Australians 20,000 years before rising sea levels isolated Australia. Tom Forbes reports from Mapoon in far north Queensland. Cape York Indigenous elder Thomas Wales was one of 83 Aboriginal people and 25 Highland Papuans who allowed scientists to study their genetic history. I'm learning more about my people and myself and my land. It is widely accepted that the first people arrived more than 50,000 years ago and rising sea levels isolated Australia around 10,000 years ago. There's often been debate about whether people came through um, Papua New Guinea down through Cape York, or do they go through what's called the Lesser Sunda chain, the islands of Java, Flores and Timor, and then into Kimberley and the Arnhem Land. Still Iver samples taken from Parmanuan speaking Aboriginal people who inhabit about 90% of Australia indicate there was one distinct Aboriginal population in far north Queensland, which fanned out across much of the continent. That doesn't necessarily mean that that was the point of entry into the continent. So the point of entry into the continent still remains a bit of a mystery. Thomas Wales says science is helping him understand his story. Because we had a whole history that like everyone knows. You can lose all your oral knowledge. People die in there. Scientists say they don't know the full genetic history of non parmanuan speaking Indigenous Australians who inhabit the northern area of Western Australia and the Northern Territory. Future research will no doubt clarify that. The research doesn't answer all of the questions and it's likely to be disputed by some, but those involved say that it refines the debate and there's an enormous amount of work still to be done. Tom Forbes, ABC News, Mapoon.